This poem, I think, is self-explanatory. It's called Reflections in a Forest. Within a shadowland of trees, whose lives are so uprightly led in nude, august communities, to move about seems underbred, uncommon any taste for words. When thoughtlessly they took to song, whatever one may think of birds, the example that they set was wrong. In keeping still, in staying slow, for posture and for social ease, how much these living statues owe their scent and colour languages. For who can quarrel without terms for not or never? Who can raise objections when what one affirms is necessarily the case? But trees are trees. An elm or oak already, both outside and in, and cannot therefore counsel folk who have their unity to win. Turn all tree signals into speech, and what comes out is a command. Keep running if you want to reach the point of knowing where you stand. A truth at which one should arrive forbids immediate utterance, and tongues to speak it must contrive to tell two different lies at once. My chance of growing would be slim, were I with wooden honesty to show my hand or heart to him who will, if I should lose, be me. Our race would not have gotten far, had we not learned to bluff it out and look more certain than we are of what our motion is about. Nor need one be a cop to find undressing before others rude. The most ascetic of our kind look naked in the buff, not nude.